Hi, this is Courtney with Inside Out with Courtney, and this week's two minute message is Who are your friends? That's right, that's what I'm asking this week. Who are your friends? Are they godly or are they worldly? And I need to ask this question because right now, We really need to be conscious of the people that we are hanging around, okay? You want to make sure that you are hanging around the right type of people because the Bible tells us, do not be misled. Bad company corrupts good character. And that is found in 1 Corinthians 15, 33. Again, bad company corrupts good character. If you are hanging around with the wrong people, then what it's going to do is it's going to, it's, it's like poison, you know, it's like cancer and it's going to spread. And what's going to happen is things that they're doing, things that they're saying is going to get into your spirit. And before you know it, you're going to start saying things and doing things um, that you're not supposed to do, especially if you have friends that are not wise, that are unwise in that or um, ungodly. So be mindful of the type of people that you surround yourself with. Make sure that they're not negative all the time. They're not gossips. They're not slanderers. You know, um, people who are just always talking about people all the time. You know, that stuff is poisonous and it gets in your spirit. And so when you see things like that happening, you have to begin to, you have to correct the situation. You know, you have to be able to know, okay, is this is this healthy or unhealthy? Because sometimes you do have conversations, you do deal with things and you do need to, you know, have a friend that you can talk to about some things, but there's a limit to how far you go when you are confiding in someone. And so when it goes too far, when things start leaking over, then you need to go to God. You need to make sure that, Hey, is this, is this right? You know, is this, is this okay, Lord? You know, so I do understand there's a balance between the two and I hope you understand that. But what I'm talking about is people who are just weighing you down spiritually, who, you know, They're not um, living for the Lord. They're not living the life. And you realize that, you know what? I need to cut this relationship. And sometimes God will tell you, he'll show you things in people to show you that you need to sever the ties. You need to cut the ties because this can be detrimental for your spiritual health. Um, I have definitely been there before where I've had to cut a relationship um, before because it just wasn't healthy for me. Right. And so. I had to follow God's voice. And sometimes you're going to have to do that. And so um, I want to just encourage you today. You know, iron sharpens iron. If you're not around someone who's going to encourage you and going to help you and going to tell you the truth, because the truth does hurt sometimes. But um, hey, it says, you know, um, in John, it tells us that um, the truth will make you free. You shall know the truth and the truth shall make you free. So, um, you know, make sure you have friends around you that it's not just going to build you up, but it's also going to let you know when something's wrong and something's not right in your life and that needs to be corrected. And and don't be so upset when they do that because they're really just trying to help you. So just be conscious of your friends. Surround yourself with positive people, people who are going to love you and love you with the truth. Amen? All right, so that's my nugget for this week. I pray that it has been a blessing to you. Um, Don't forget to join me every Wednesday for a fresh new message as well as a fresh new blog post that comes out every Monday at 7.30 a.m. Also, I want to let you know, um, don't forget to join me on Tuesday, July 7th, which is actually next week. Um, at 8.30 p.m., you can get more information on the website or go to my uh, Facebook fan page for more information about that because I am going to be talking about in this live call, um, I'm going to be talking about balance women. Amen? Women of balance. So don't forget to join me for that call. It's going to be live and it's going to be awesome. All right? Thanks so much and you guys have a blessed week.